Captain James Cook and the Search for Antarctica by Dr. James C. Hamilton. So it's basically how I have read it, his three voyages and his like three different ships that went on these voyages. You get like who he was, who he sailed with, supplies and equipment that you used, the, the separation of revolution and adventure, so like animals he's seen, so it talks about like the places that he went to on his voyages, and it's very informational and detailed. You do get, um, a few maps and images, like, when he spent a lot of time in Oceania, like New Zealand, Australia. Um, it's an average size kind of like history book that you would see at like chapters. Um, I'm assuming same as like Barnes and Nobles and whatever. Um, obviously I've never been to a Barnes and Noble, <laughs> but yeah. So like this figure, if it will zoom in properly, focus properly, it shows the three different routes that he went on, like his voyages. Come on. So his search for Antarctica, uh, Four parts to his search and his navigation in the Southern Sea. So, first voyage he was sailing in Endeavour. Uh, he was in the ship's resolution and adventure. And then his third so when they say his ship um, and his third voyage was in resolution and accompanied by discovery. So it does go through like each voyage individually and what was going on there. Uh, circumnavigating and charting New Zealand, Australia's East, East Coast, and the Great Barrier Reef, and Badava. So it's just places he went and description of everything. Not like everything, but like main kind of points. Who was he? Um, A little bit of like at that time's perception of like the continent of Antarctica. So it talks about his ships on their own, ch like a chapter just on um, his ships. And so it goes through where he was, and this is map of. Kirkland Island, approximate location of features referenced in text associated with his 76th visit, version of an original outlet map, so. So I forgot that, where that was, but his interactions with the people he worked with like on the boat and everything and um back in England him trying to get his third like second and third voyage out there him and him getting and 
obviously him, the lead up to his first voyage and what he had to do for the second and third. So, it's, like, I, as far as I know, there are books out there um, about him, and this one's a focus on him trying for Antarctica and not totally getting there, but what he did find when trying to go for there. So it is interesting. You do get a few voyage routes and maps throughout the book. So um, you do get the visuals. If you, if obviously for those who are, have an interest in British history, navigation, um, exploration, this is a book to pick up. And obviously Cook is one of the more known navigators and people at that time, like at that time period of navigation. Um, obviously there's other people before and after, but yeah. Captain James Cook and the search for Antarctica. Happy readings.